Okay, so earlier we kind of defined some causes for cardiogenic shock, but let's take it a step further and dive a little bit deeper into the pathophysiology of cardiogenic shock. So as we know, in cardiogenic shock, we have a low perfusion state. We have hypotension, right? So low blood pressure. And this is going to stimulate the body's compensating mechanisms to try to fix it, right? So you're going to have a release of catecholamines, so things like epinephrine, norepinephrine. You're going to have an increase in the activation of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, right? And these are very powerful mechanisms that are going to result in mass vasoconstriction, okay? And that constriction is going to help shunt blood to vital organs, namely the brain and the heart, and attempt to get it to the kidneys as well. The other organs have decreased perfusion and will very quickly go into dysfunction if this state remains uncorrected. Furthermore, that's systemic circulation. The other circulation that's at play is pulmonary circulation. And when you get this acute dysfunction of the heart that leads to cardiogenic shock, classically you're going to get pulmonary edema. And how this occurs is because you have a decreased cardiac output, the fluid begins to build up into the pulmonary circuit. And this leads to increased pulmonary hydrostatic pressure, which engorges those capillary beds around the alveoli, which then extravagates that fluid out into the interstitium, leading to pulmonary edema. And this is a very nasty triad that occurs. You get this shunting to the brain, the heart, the rest of the organs go uh, without blood. The lungs get filled up with fluid, which then further decreases the ability to get oxygen even into the system, let alone move it around via the sick heart. So it's a very, very nasty cycle that starts. And this is why cardiogenic shock can carry such a high mortality with it. If you love our videos here, then you're going to love our illustrated notes. It's chock full of things like cheat sheets, anatomy and physiology, and literally everything in between that you can imagine. This is 21 pages long, and it's chock full of really cool illustrated notes for you. If you love this package, all you need to do is hit the link in our bio and download them from there.